going to fall flat, or whether they are going to fall flat on their faces like Sharper Esports with some of these map picks because I'm not super convinced except for that firing range. And even that firing range can go either way, man. But let's see exactly how things open up at Square Center here. Smart Omega, they make their way in first. Crush needs to win those gunfights, but he misses three of those shots. And lucky for him, he has Edra to back him up. Crush not finding those initial kills will definitely concern the Filipinos. 14 to all, though, they open up the first hard point well, Jericho. Yeah, and this is what they want. The control coming in for Omega. They already have that laundry control. We do see Idra on that laundry side. Very huge control, but there's going to be one player at the back. It's just going to be see, uh, uh, Jeff at the back trying to get that spawn. But now Omega is milking everything. The rotation should come in here if you are the yeah, Raid is definitely a map that, you know, Dunia Games should have banned out of the list. What I don't see, I mean, it's not like Omega Esports isn't a threat at Hackney Yard, but they're definitely a bigger threat at Raid in comparison to Hackney Yard on any of the match types that they play. That much I can definitely say, right? 42 to 11, well played by Dunia Games, but it's just those scrap points, not gonna be making much of an effect. And now Kitchen opened up well, and the Indonesians are, you know, just getting crushed left, right, center. I thought they would be able to win it over with that opener, but now they get shut down. Jet Sky making those plays come through. 30 to 49. Let's see if they can catch up. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Finally, BG getting some life here, AJ. 20 to 49, AJ. And now they have positioning control. They have that anchor spawn, but here comes the push from Omega. Can they fight it? But Jeff takes out three. Jet Sky takes out another one as well. And DG finally gets some points on the board, and they can take over the lead. That needs to be set up by the side of Omega Esports, though. They're taking it way too straightforward. Central Garden flowing in back to back. And now the distraction being set up from the side of the locker. Swimming pool shut down. Whoopi not able to bring much of an effect as Wenham takes him out of the equation. Captain Jay Z, on the other hand, will not be able to do anything as well. Gay double kill falling onto him. I believe it was Wenham that picked it up. 49 to 52. The side of Dunia Games equalizes just before that hard point exp uh, expires and now as we troll on into the third hard point at garage this is going to be the fight at gorilla base that's opened up by omega esports yeah that is true aj but here comes the push it's going to be dg getting that control 50 seconds in but omega has that push coming through we'll try to take out that one but there's a sentry gun there aj sentry gun coming in from dg but gets destroyed immediately by omega and now here comes jeff trying to make a play here but we'll get slashed by crush and just like that they have to draw the hill still get get another slash from jay-z and the katana making the plays here but here comes the death machine jay-z just going left and forward that death machine this is where the death machine is very very good aj and now 57 to 56 no one's getting that time but we do see omega just contesting the hill jay-z first in first out as well but dg getting that push here but they're all gonna get stunned but just like that dg gets that 10 seconds right. Oh, 10 seconds scrap points for Dunia Games, but it's something where it will be very, very effective and useful in this matchup because Dunia Games, from the get-go, they were going in there for the challenge, not allowing Omega Esports to pick those points up. Finally, winning that final gunfight, they, they take a very, very well-deserved scrap time. And now over at Basketball Court, is it going to be a similar situation? Opened up by Omega Esports, but that pressure flank now coming through from the side of Dunia Games. Jeff trying to spot out Jay-Z. Captain Jay-Z with the opportunity. Shuts down Jeff with his MX-9. And this is the play which will allow Omega Esports to make their comeback. But the XS1 Goliath set up now. Candy trying to take him out. The oh, Ebony Wardex being sent through. <laughs> and XS1 Goliath eaten up. That was such a smart play for Kenny, but finally gets taken out. Here comes JD Bulls get taken out as well. But it's there, it's there for now. Has a better miss out to use. I believe he should be able to use it here, but they're not the evil brute force. And then Idra, I do everything hits one. Can he get the second one? Yes, he oh gets Idra making the place. Should be able to use the defender now, AJ, but saving it for that next hill. We do see Omega getting that control, getting that last 10 seconds. And now the rotation is going to come through. Idra gets taken out, but Omega are finally going to hit that 100 point mark. AJ, and it's going to be the fight for that middle hill, AJ. Oh, absolutely, man. And this is exactly where things get spicy. On towards the central garden, the players from Junior Games, clearly the ones who are going to be there first. 103 to 80. The setup at Central Garden can be solid from the get-go, but the defense on Central Garden going to be very, very tough. A couple of nades in there for the opener, and then you rush in 
Snuff them out. Crash as well as Whoopi. The best combo in here. But as Whoopi gets dropped by Jet Sky, can this be won by Omega Esports? They seem to be losing their gunfights left, right, center. And Dunia Games should be able to catch up and overtake Smart Omega. And now we do see 104 to 103 AJ. Here comes the press press out coming in from DG. We'll take out one. But here comes the double death machine setup with Omega. They set up a lot of time here. The game's not going to be over here, AJ. So expect our rotation coming through. But Omega struggling right now in this final hill, AJ. But the push is going to come through. 15 seconds left. If you're Omega, all you have to do is play that rotation. But if Candy can make a play, we'll take out two players. One more player to beat. This is going to be huge for Omega. Final eight seconds left. Jet Sky is going to get taken out. That's going to be huge time. And now rotation has come through. But AJ, you do see that DG already set up in that next one. Has the sentry gun as well. Yeah. One push for Omega and one hold for DG. Yeah, for me, Candy was the playmaker for the side of Omega Esports moments ago at the Central Garden. I mean, it's not about those plays or the fights that he finally managed to win at the very end. But let's talk about Indra just doing a lot of the heavy lifting, taking out the sentry there as well, and breaking down the defense that these players have over at Laundry. But it hasn't been enough. The backup needs to come through. Omega Esports challenging for that hard point, losing the battle. And now 39 Ooh, seconds to finish bread. things off. A beautiful Predator missile dropped in, takes absolute Absolutely nobody hostage with it. 135 to 109. Dunia Games trying to run away with this. But on that point, one game, one playmaker for the side of Omega Esports opens up that hard point. It yeah, opens up that Gravity Vortex turning things around, but Crush will get taken out during the game. 10 seconds left. They have to contest here. Here comes a contest from one player. We'll try to do it. Takes out one. Actually, Kenny making the play. It's going to be a 1v1. Kenny right now. 28 for his life. Finally gets taken out. And scrap time is good. And now they're going to give up this time. They don't need this. They have to work on that next one. And here comes the push coming in. They have their operator skills to work. Big kill on the left. Big AFK. And now Omega. They have control here, but they can't lose any gunfights here. And here comes the Gravity Vortex. Going to make a play. Kenny. Everyone will open things up. Take out two players. One player to beat. Candy takes out another one as well. One feed inbound. And now Sentry Gun down and Omega, they're gonna make this comeback, AJ. Well, let's see if or not the Kings of Comeback will actually be able to get it done on one of the grandest stage of them all. Omega Esports now have to win all of the gunfights. Whoopi running out of time. He drops and the Death Machine shut down. It does not come through for the guy. Death Guy winning his gunfight is the kind of pressure that ODG Esports needs to run away with this matchup. But the challenge oh. from the side of Omega oh. Esports continuously oh. comes through. Yes, they get the fight. Yes, they get the the hill, but immediately won back by Dunia Games as well. Then getting a lot of the heavy lifting done for themselves. A three-man push coming through, and Dunia Games wins at the Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is going to be search and destroy at firing range. A map pick by Smart Omega. Let's see if or not they will be able to get this matchup. They take it on against Dunia Games Esports, who have the bomb in their hands. And it looks like it might just be a push towards that B-bomb side. Warehouse number four might be under attack. But it's a little too aggressive for ZZ for my liking. If he gets taken down early, Smart Omega should be able to pre put a lot of pressure on that bomb. Yeah, that's true, AJ. If he gets sniped or probably get uh, naded here, we do see Whoop here just scoping in. We'll spot one, but we'll just shoulder peek it. Information is given. And then here we go again, AJ. The offense from from DG. This is really struggling all the time on offense. They always try to play on this delay strap, but it's just not working for them. I feel like, you know, you're doing your games. You have no fear. Might as well just go in oh. there with someone going down. There. Just like that. Yes, Zen goes down, but you can double down on that one and force it in if you're going to push together. Oh, smart place by Whoopi. Immediately backing away. Oh, gets the checker on the stun as well. And the information will be relayed over to the rest of his team members. In the meantime, takes a couple of wall banks. Finds absolutely nobody. But this one sniper has managed to scare away the rest of the Dunia Games players. And now it's all up to Captain Jay-Z. Opening up! And he takes ZZ down! And the bomb now on the ground. Captain Jay-Z making the play. Gets wow. a double for himself. And Idra finishes it off as Smart Omega opens up strong against Dunia Games Esports. And it is what I'm talking about. I know it's only first round, but I, I'm going to keep on repeating it. DG's offense is not working at all. They have to find something here. Get trailer control if you want, or maybe rush together. You know, the play for picks is not working because Ehan's not having a great time with that sniper. I know it's only the first round, but if they lose this, it's because of their offense. Here. 
I, I, I'm not understanding exactly why this map was not banned if they're definitely playing it, um, you know, in this way. But I, I think things are going to change around because Lunia Games Esports, they are setting up something special here. We'll be looking for those knights. Trying to reclaim the throne of the best sniper in the Philippines. But is he going to be able to hit all of those snipes? Idra shuts down Venom. It is a five on four situation now as the bomb once again goes in to see exactly what it can do over over at that B bomb site. Backs away, the numbers not looking good on the side of Dooney Games. Yeah, not looking good indeed, AJ. And now, this is gonna be a five versus four, but Ihan takes out Idra, and there we go. That's what you need there. Let Ihan find a way for you to push, and here comes the push, but we'll, we'll spot two. But stuns, JC will get stunned as well, has that attack mass in hand, AJ. Very good push coming in here. Candy, we'll work with his teammate. It's gonna be a four versus two now. Two players go down, Jeff gets taken out, and AJ, are not looking oh. well for the side of DG. Well, my son is finding his scopes, and that's gonna be a great opener for the side of Smart Omega as Whoopi hits a four kill round. Smart Omega, I, I, I think I might just scream it out in this particular matchup, Jericho. I mean, you should. It's warming up, AJ. It's, it's warming, warming up. up. It's Production, warming up. gotta watch Whoopi. We gotta watch Whoopi. <laughs> but now it's gonna be a five v five again, two and oh, AJ. Same offense coming in from DG. Not a lot of innovation coming through. Oh, oh almost, Ooh. almost, almost. Whoopi is teasing AJ here. But still, oh. stalemate again, AJ. Another Too aggressive round. for my liking though, Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> you guys I mean, gonna give you a heart attack. Yeah, I mean, if you're up to oh, you can be this aggressive, AJ. I like it from them, yeah. but DG, they gotta adjust. But, but you know, mistakes are something that you cannot afford against junior games. 2-0 in Search and Destroy, it's it's nothing, man. You know, things can turn around so, so quickly. Even a 5 0 on Search and Destroy against Junior Games, absolutely nothing. But now, as I say that Idra as well as Jay-Z, they find ZZ and Ihan. Jeff taken down by Idra, the best player in the Philippines. And it's going to be Jay-Z with the backstab. And the setup for the 5 on 1 wow. is now on with only one final player, Zen, trying to survive. Perhaps getting a clutch, manages to shut down Whoopi. Great backstab, but the information has gone out. Everybody knows exactly exactly where he is or at the very least the rough position zen now might get caught out by the numbers but he needs to make a play a well-placed name might be able to shut down edra and that's exactly what he needs it needs to back away hit mark gets oh. a double maybe but candy just a little too good yeah numbers game just really doing the work there for you three and oh now aj and Omega looking very good on S and D. Can DG answer back? You know, Venom, Jeff, and ZZ still yet to find a kill here. But on the other side, Crush, he's just there chilling, AJ. And Whoopi, six. And I think there's one player who's six, and I think it's Jay Z, AJ. And now here comes the rush. I like this from DG. This is what you need. Whoopi takes out ZZ, but they can still force it in. Here comes the fight, AJ. Oh, but playing from the side of Smart Omega, they back away. Luving just crushed in uh, deep inside of warehouse number four. And a little bit of backup coming through from Idra as well. And I like the setup seeing that Whoopi has backed away all the way in towards auto repair. You get your sniper out of there at the very first sign of danger. Later on, he oh. can come in for the access. Candy as well as Crash jumping out to shut down. Candy gets a double piece for himself. Wow. So quick. Dunia Games shut down. And with a great setup from Smart Start to end, it seems like Omega Esports might just run away with this. Yeah, it looks like it is. And there we go, Jay-Z, 7-0, and zero, AJ. And Kendi, 3-0. and oh, This great place coming in for the side of Smart Omega and DG. No answer at all. Here comes another delay strat. They're just having a hard time with this SD, AJ. Oh, and that hit marker is going to be something that Whoopi does not like. Let's see if or not he goes with the stun check first. Another one coming towards him. That's going to be a frag. That's not going to be able to find him at all. Dunia Games, they back away. But with the loss of Edra, this is going to be quite a tough situation to hold on to. And now a stack coming in towards that A-bomb side. And yes, we do see the trophy system set up through as well. Ihan as well as Venom winning their gunfight. And this should be a bomb plan that Smart Omega cannot prevent. Yeah, that's true. And, and that's what we like from DG. The adjustment, it took them a while, but now they have things going here. Whoops. I don't want to go on the sniper battle, but the Ehan decides not to use it anymore. We'll take him out. This could be a one from four here. All up to Candy. We'll get one. But finally gets hit by ZZ. And finally, DG Esports gets in the board. And I like that. That final round gets at least one. Don't get 5-0, but now stretch of size. Let's see if back on defense or will Omega 
end it in the next two rounds. Yeah, I, I think Dunia Games desperately needs to make a comeback in here. They they were quite cheeky, moving on very aggressively towards that B bomb site. Will be punish them two of those um, five rounds. Let's see if they can make it through back in here once again. Dunia Games with a very aggressive defense. Zen running all over the map, looking for some players. Crash getting caught out, and it's gonna be Venom who goes in for that kill. Venom finds Whoopi as well. The numbers don't look good for Smart Omega. It's a three to two. Venom inside of the white warehouse. Candy shuts him down. CZ looking for him. Shotty hit marker does not get the takedown, but Ihan is there for the backup. Idra will be able to trade one out, leaving us in a one versus one. The attacking side of Smart Omega, the bomb plant on the ground, but CZ wins that gunfight and the defusal. It's going to be possible with Dunia Games making it back 2-4. to four. Yeah, I mean, Indra had the whole game. They're very unfortunate with MX9. Just a little bit faster than AJ. 4-2 now. DG slowly getting some momentum in. If you're Omega, try to slow things down now. You know, you tried that rush here, but you still have a lot of rounds here to work with. Try to slow it down. You know, get the picks with Whoopi. And, but DG, oh, defense is going really, really well here. Let's see what happens here. AJ very aggressive again for Omega. They want to get that trailer control, and they do get it. Now let's see what happens here. But Venom takes out Crush, and now it's going to be a 4 versus four. Oh, This is one of the most aggressive defending sides that I've seen, and Dunia Games will be paying a high price for it, just like they are in this round, if they continue with that sort of an approach. Idra, yes, he almost got taken down by ZZ, but that's not going to be a situation they will not be able to cope with. And with that bomb plant now, ZZ has to go in for this aggressive place. The quick scope, maybe. Oh, Shotty manages to punish Idra, who was not very careful with his position. And a 3 to 3, a great opportunity for GG Esports to turn it around. But we'll be finding that scope. Venom will be able to trade it out. Then drops us into 2 to 2. JZ takes Venom out. It's a now 2 versus 1. Ihan, the sniper, he should have an MX9 on him as well. Should be able to catch Jay-Z. Spots his head, punishes him very well. But Whoopi saves the day. 5-2 to two match point for the Filipinos. Very good plays coming in. The adjustment, I like it coming in from Omega. And now one round away, AG, to tie this series up, AJ. But if you're DG... You gotta try. You gotta be perfect here anymore. You gotta be perfect. Can't have any mistakes here. Let's see what happens here. Ehan, that sniper will be very aggressive again. Age another aggressive round could be from DG. I want eyes on Whoopi, man. JC inside a white warehouse. Jeff might be able to punish him. Jumps up together with his friend. And they should be able to put up a lot of pressure. Now, Nate being sent towards the side of the bomber does not get a checker. But yes, there was a hit marker on him. He needs to be very, very patient. Candy backs away with the bomb. Ihan looking for these scopes. And it looks like the pressure onto that A side is what Smart Omega is looking for. And it's what they will... But Zen, with a very aggressive approach, might be able to shut down a player. He takes Candy out of the equation, but immediately gets traded out by Jay-Z. We are left with a 4-3 to three here, Jericho. A 4 versus 3. 3 versus 4 in AJ. Bomb is down here. But Whoopi will find that bomb. And ZZ takes out Edra. It's now going to be a 2 versus 4 AJ. And I think they know there are going to be people here, but here comes the push. Jeff, bomb is going to go down, but Jeff will get back. We'll get that information. We'll spot two players. And here comes the retake coming in from DJ. Oh, smart play. Lucky for Whoopi. He did not get taken down. But well played Whoa. shots coming through from Ihan. Snuffs out Whoopi. And that information play is just stellar coming through from Junior Games Esports. They will try to equalize. But still quite a way to make it there. 3 to 5 so far. Let's see if they can hold Omega Esports at that match point. Whilst they try to push us into round number 11. Yeah, let's see what happens here, AJ. Now, five to three. Slowly but surely, DG working their way back on this game number two, or will Omega close it oh. out? Venom takes out Whoopi. Four versus five immediately now, AJ. And Omega still struggling here, but they can go for this push. They're going to be forced into this area, AJ. Let's see what happens here, number five. Send the time again, could be impeccable. Take gets taken out by Crush. That's what you need, but Venom takes out Crush as well. Trade it out. Three versus four, a minute and 30 seconds left for DC. We'll spot Idra as well. Two versus four, AJ. And things are not looking well for the boys from Omega. Yeah, because all of a sudden, it's just super sloppy plays back to back from Smart Omega. Even as they try to back away from that warehouse number four, from the B-bomb site, they should have just kept an eye on their backs. They knew they were already losing one too many men. They should have not lost that final fight. 
but it is what it is. Four to two. Smart Omega, are they going to be able to make a comeback here? The answer is a no, as Venom shuts down Jay-Z, leaving Kendi, the bomb carrier, all alone in here. All alone indeed, AJ. Kendi will spot one, but gets away with his life. No trades coming through. That's very unfortunate. We'll spot one more, but the pinch is going to come through. Five to four, AJ. Round 10 coming up next. Will we go to round 11 or will Omega pull it off already? Excellent plays coming through from these players. Let's see if or not they will be able to step up to the plate and grab this victory finally. Smart Omega, they've been sitting down on this match point for quite a while now. Junior Games making an amazing comeback. And it is going to be Ihan scoping down shooting range. That A bomb site has been covered. Candy moving towards there as well. Whoopi trying to clear out this area. And this is the opportune moment for Ihan to prove that he is the better sniper. Is he going to be able to take these early shots? Will Whoopi be punished? That's potentially going to decide exactly how this round goes, Jericho. Yeah, that is true, AJ. Now, very important gunfight here for Zen and Crush here. Timing. Call Duty timing. Oh my. Here we go. Zen. I think he heard Crush there, AJ. It's going to be 1 minute and 10 seconds left. No one is moving at all. But this is such an intense moment. He does spot that grenade, AJ. And the, and the stun as well. But they get stunned over at A. It's going to be a gunfight. Crush gets taken out by Zen. It's going to be a 4 versus 5. Ihan trying to sign someone on the smoke. But for information is given, Idra, he has to make the player, AJ. There's going to be two players there. What kind of timing will he get, AJ? Is it going to be the nice kinds of timing? And I think he will just able to get one player off. We'll spot one. One more player to beat there. And that is perfect timing. But Venom takes him out, AJ. And now it's going to be a 2v4. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about, right? Are we going to see Omega Esports get caught out by the bank? Oh no, Whoopi pulls out the shorty a little bit too late and gets punished by Jeff. Smart plays, but unfortunate. Dunia Games Esports actually managing to hold Omega Esports back and equalize, forcing us into the tiebreaker round number 11 as Dunia Games takes that bomb right back into their hands. Are they going to get aggressive or will they play it slow? It'll all depend on this, but Whoopi needs to be eliminated first. If the best sniper from the Philippines is left alive, it will be very tough for them to take this matchup back. Zen with a very aggressive move in towards that bomb site. Goes in Precious off crush from that spot oh, no. and they will be able to drop Jay-Z out of the equation as well and this is a 5 versus 4 ZZ Zen will be able to drop crush the bomb finally going down onto the ground Venom holding the backstab oh, no. and this is just a GG do not pick firing rage smart omega I told y'all oh, the, the collapse has come through the comeback is done and DG up 2-0 now. We're gonna see game number three. Are we gonna see a are we gonna see a 3-0 or are we gonna see a reverse sweep? Let's go, game number three. Here we go. It's gonna be on crossfire. Well, they're kings of comeback. That's one more title that Omega Esports hold on to. And from the get-go, it looks like it's a double cap. That A and B flag sharp in their hands. And now the prevention gameplay coming through from JC potentially. And yes, he manages to win all of his gunfights. That B flag is going to be strong in the hands of Smart Omega. Now, my biggest question is, is Smart Omega going to go in here for a spawn flip and then continue controlling the C and B flag as the side of Dunia Games puts on the pressure? Because I feel like it, as soon as Dunia Games picks this B flag up, they should be aiming for that C and that spawn flip because they will be able to overtake the game instantaneously. But that play should only come through once they lose that B flag because as long as they've got the hole, there's no reason whatsoever to let go of this opportune situation. Yeah, that is true, AJ. Very opportune time here, but Domega on that early D finally gets it in DG. We'll slowly get that, uh, they're just struggling right now, you know, central building being controlled by Omega. I like this play coming in for them, and if you're a DG, you gotta work on that left side. But Crush, finally gonna get taken out by Venom. That's gonna be moving two more players inside, oh. but Candy's still alive, making this huge play. But oh. at the same time, what? the killer will not help, but the Candy will take what? out two! The timing is, the timing just went off there, and Candy working on that Goliath will try to find that player, will still 
win that, and he has that Goliath already. Oh, just an absolute brilliant place. He sends out the Hunter Killer drone first, absolutely bots that, and then just jumps on in, takes a double kill for himself. Smart plays, amazing from Kendi. But now, 46 to 27. Dunia Game still trying to make a comeback through. Yes, the Predator missile gets dropped. Not super effective. And the triple cap. This is the moment. This is the moment. The Smart Omega goes in for the oh. spawn flip. And the setup is perfect. Triple has been put into play. And the B flag cap coming through from the side of Dunia Games and I think that's a bad idea. They have to focus on the A flag instead and it's a little bit too late. They've wasted those precious moments and they've allowed Smart Omega to run away towards that 75 point mark now. Hunter Killer Drone being sent out going to be able to do absolutely nothing. JC, the captain himself, stepping on in with the Death Machine trying to go in and spawn lock all of these players but the trap is just unsuccessful as they make a play now. B and C Sharp in their hands, 75 to 34. Junior Games, kind of stuck. Yeah, kind of stuck indeed, AJ, but you know, that's Candy making those huge plays and crush, you know. You do see Candy with 50 then, four already, AJ, just in the first half alone. But can they keep it up or will Dooney Games make a comeback here? They have a Goliath, remember, AJ. So now let's see what happens here. Dooney Games having that A and B side, the more favorable side here. Let's see what happens here. Candy with that smoke coming out now. Both put, put some shots out. Can he get a 16th kill? But teammates are there for the help. And here we go coming in through Candy with the kill as well. Working on his more working on more score six here, AJ. Mm -hmm. And I like this from Omega. Just helping Candy out. They're waiting for Candy for him to get I love Smart Omega whenever they play on the Gorilla Base side because the control that they have over middle lane is absolutely supreme. With all of their gunfights, they truly show us exactly why they are the favorites within the Philippines. Quite honestly, the favorites within MSP. Crush just slicing and dicing. Jeff goes down, 88 to 43. Junior Games Esports. They are desperately trying to make their crawl way back in here. Access One Goliath popping out as well. Candy's gonna be on the operations. And at the same time he should be able to cut off middle lane and the flank towards the C flag as well as step into that B flag and put on a lot of pressure but Jeff manages to catch him Candy snuffs him out and the play needs to come through but unfortunately Venom and his death machine just too good but now Crush making those plays through a double cap coming through Whoopi trying to help him out as well they pull that B flag back and Smart Omega might be able to run away with it now Jericho Yes, yeah, Smart Omega may be able to run away with this, AJ. 107 to 56 now, AJ. And now we do see all the players from DG just trying to push in one by one. We do need to send the gun from C, AJ. We'll be covering Butchers, but but DG actually hopping on here. Still a possible comeback here, AJ. But we do see the players coming in from Smart Omega, putting all their gunfights crushed with that KRM. We'll shut them down. And now we might see a game for your AJ. And, and this is why I, I kind of said Crossfire should have been the map that was banned out for Omega Esports. They absolutely love to crush it out here, no pun intended. And who usually is their MVP? The one and only Crush. But Candy has been absolutely phenomenal throughout this whole matchup. Send stepping up, shut down. It's going to be Jeff from the back as well. Candy making those monster plays. 19 kills so far. Picks up his 20th and the 21st. This guy's an absolute playmaker. A monster on Crossfire. And 134 to 17 now. Dunia Games finally manages to cap Candy out. But it's just going to be a little too late. The boys from the Philippines, they've run away with this matchup already. Yeah, they've run away with this matchup indeed, AJ. 147 is We're going to go to a game number four. Omega is not saying goodbye. And DG, they had a chance, AJ. But they blew it with this game number three, AJ. Yeah, they should have just banned out the crossfire from the get-go. I, I, I would have taken my chance against, um, you know, the side. I mean, not personally. I know Smart Omega will cap me in like three seconds. But <laughs> if I was doing the MC Sports, I would have definitely taken my chance over at Hack. be very very tough aj indeed and remember it spawns here for for omega they have that uh they have the advantage here in my opinion but dg hmm. you, know, you know omega for that second hill but um, but dg they gotta get that second floor control let's see what happens here if they're gonna hold it here but we do see here venom try to get those early spawns here but crush is gonna be that first one and they don't mind crush crush gets through clearly but he just misses those shots but he oh, will nice, get through nice, there, AJ. Nice. but now here we comes the push 
Oh, look at this man. Invade straight up from Captain JC. He manages to step on in and they do. They do spawn it out towards the gorilla base. And this hole from Crush as well as Captain JC is going to be solid. Yes, they take over the spawn over at gorilla base. Trying to be won back by Sen. Sen now going in for the shutdown. Wins it back for the side of Dunia Games. And the ploy and the play from the smart Omega. Immediately shut down by Dunia. Yes, they did go in for the spawn flip. They focused on it a little bit too much. And Dunia Games, if they manage to run away with this, still not really out of their hands just yet, mainly because of the second hard point. Like we said, the second hard point and the favor goes to the side of Smart Omega, and they've almost never lost this spawn control for that second hard point. So I kind of feel in the second one it should swing their way a little bit, but 51 points from Duty Games over a team wow. like Smart Omega, I would have never thought that would be possible in one hard point. Yeah, that is true, AJ. We did see Jet Sky pulling streak that has a sentry gun and also a predator missile inbound, AJ. It's looking very, very well, but now finally Omega finally gets that one point, AJ, but 56 to 1 here, AJ. Things are not looking well for Omega. They have to start making this comeback, AJ. 57 and 3 here, but Crush is gonna get taken out as well. And DG, they're not looking back right here, AJ. They're just going all in with this, AJ. Oh, uh, now the player from Smart Omega, they have got the spawn and the Predator Missile does not come through. It's not been activated by these players. Why? Because they don't seem to be winning a majority of the gunfights. Venom! Just blowing in, snuffing out, and Sentry pulled out at the edge platform, and the spawns won over by Dunia Games as well. This seems to be a walkover victory, and Dunia Games actually going in for an early setup over at Cable Car Platform. Yes! Scrap points picked up by Smart Omega, but 10 seconds ain't gonna do jack as they move on in to Cable Car Platform. This is the third hard point play, and Dunia Games opening it up with the uh, death machine, and I feel like that's gonna be a premonition for Smart Omega. Absolute death as they step on in. Venom taking out JC and Whoopi, and that's exactly what. Oh! The sentry set up just before getting taken down. Manages to actually make the play before dying as well. What can stop Dunia Games now, Jerry? Well, this is pretty much all out war, but Whoopi is there for the trade, but they momentarily get the hill. But the push is coming through. Send the, the Predator Missile takes out too. And, and Omega, they have to push in now. They can't push it together. You have to go one by one. Individual plays will be happening here now, AJ. But it's looking really, really bad here, AJ. And doing your games, they can close it out in this next hill. But if you're Omega, you have a long way to climb. The King's of comeback and <laughs> leaving it way too long to actually start making any plays now. And this is just an impossible situation to actually pull through. 121 to 18, even if you are the best team in the world, recovering a matchup like this against a team like Dunia Games Esports, Pretty much impossible. Scrap time not even played by Smart Omega. They scurry on through to the Blue Radar Station. As we can see, a sentry set up from the side of Junior Games to run away with this matchup. And the spawns being locked by Gorilla Base. Sorry, by Junior Games as well at the Gorilla Base. And that's gonna be all that is needed and all that it will take to shut down the Philippines. 132 to 22 now. Junior Games, the Indonesians trying to run away with it. Yeah, and now we do see 130 to 23. Indeed, AJ, they have control. Six man is in for that sentry gun. And Smart Omega, they have one final push for their life. They're fighting for their lives, AJ. It's looking very, very... Uh, they managed to get that time, AJ, so they have to hold it in. If one push from from DG can end the game here, AJ. So every gunfight matters here, AJ. 144 to 32, this is in 5, 4 seconds. Can be fighting for his life. There's going to be the push coming through. Can they make the comeback? Oh, beautiful as they drop towards the cable car edge as well. They win all of their gunfights, but the back of the stab does not stop. Here comes the player from the side of Dunia Games. Jet Sky gets shut down as the rest of them now. They trail on into control room number two. Smart Omega making a comeback from absolutely nowhere and no other team would have been able to stand this long against Dunia Games. So this is an impressive setup. But now as we move on into control room number two, I'm afraid it's not going to be as easy as it was at that fourth hard point. Point. It's definitely not going to be easy as this one, AJ. We do see what we're trying to make the player gets taken out, but finally gets taken out as well. OMG gets that control, and slowly but surely they're climbing. But five points is all that DG needs. And if you're DG, one good team but is all he needs. Jet Sky DG open things up, and here comes the contest. And it's all up to you. One more player to beat. Four more seconds. Scrubs gets defeated. Can anyone contest? And Omega has been eliminated from the 
playoffs, AJ. Three to one.